Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up this awesome all-in-one computer. So let's just get started with the setup. All right, so first things first, you guys should know your ports. So right here, you have the HDMI. Right here, we got power. So it's on the right-hand side. You got your brightness. And now let's take a look at the other side. All right, the other side, we've got our USB, USB-C, and our volume keys. You guys should know that on top of your computer, you have this. And that's to physically block your camera. So you do have a camera right there in the front. You can physically block it just by moving this like so. And then you can unblock it by doing that. So it's physically blocking it. Other than that, the feet themselves will snap in as soon as you lay it down on the table. Okay, so just put it sitting on top of a table. It has to be something flat surface. And these guys will move by themselves, just like you see them right now. So you see the back here? Yep, that's how they're supposed to move by themselves. You don't have to do it yourself. This is supposed to be automatic. And once you lift up your computer, then these guys will just go back to how they were when you guys first got it. On the top, you guys may notice this handle, and that's exactly for that. So you guys can just lift it up easily. So this is supposed to be something portable. All right, so you should have got batteries inside a package like so. You need all four of them. They are triple A's. And you need those to set this guy up. So here is your HP keyboard and trackpad. So we're going to set it up right now on the back of it. You guys will notice this. Just slide it downwards and pull this out and place your batteries inside. And yes, it's going to take all four. Once you're done with that, just place it back in. Once it's closed, make sure to slide it this way to the right so it snaps in. You guys should clear clicking sound. That way this won't open up. So right now at this point in time, your keyboard is ready to go. But before anything else, I want to show you your keyboard on the top. You guys see this? That's for Bluetooth and this to turn it on. You guys can go ahead and turn it on right now. However, it's also best to turn it on at the same time that you're turning on your computer. And to turn it on, all we have to do, by the way, is just slide this to the side. You guys should see green. This will be flashing and you're good to go. All right, for your computer, you guys have this. This is your power. So you guys just have to plug this right in here. There we go. And this will go to your outlet. This will go right into your computer. So on the right hand side of your computer, you should see this. Just plug this in. All right, so now that you guys plugged it in on the top, on the side, you guys will see this. That's your power it on. Just press it. You guys are supposed to see that light coming on. That means it's turning on. All right, so when it's turning on, it should say something like so. And just wait for it. At this point in time, it's going to ask you to turn on your keyboard, by the way, just like I showed you. So at this point in time, you should turn on your keyboard if you haven't done so, which I already showed you guys how to do it. Just like that. And then you guys can go ahead and just choose. So it has to sync up by itself. To set up your device using a screen reader, turn on narrator by pressing Windows plus Control plus Enter. For more accessibility features, press Windows plus U or select the accessibility icon in the bottom corner. So just want to note if it's not, if you just didn't detect your keyboard, just turn it off, turn it on again, and it should lock up to your computer at this point in time. And just test it out by pressing up and down arrows. So you guys can choose anything or click around it. So after you press your up and down arrows, that's just to make sure it's working. But really, to make sure it's really working, just touch these because up and down won't do anything at this point in time of the setup. What you guys need to do is this. If you guys see any volume coming up there with your volume keys, that means it's synced up. So you're good to go. It should automatically sync by itself. So again, just keep messing around with the volume, um, mess around with the brightness. Then you should get a better sync. It does take a while. Make sure it's really close to it. And then your up and down arrow keys should be working at this point in time, plus your trackpad. But keep in mind, this is a touch screen. So you guys can go ahead and select yourselves, whatever you guys want from the screen. So I can go ahead and select English just by touching it. So I can do that and then go next just by touching the screen like so, or just use my keyboard as well. At this point in time, we're just gonna choose whichever region you guys are from. So go ahead, there's a whole list. I can show you everything that's there actually just by scrolling down. You guys will see an entire list of places you guys can choose from. And if you don't see yours, it would be very rare. But um, technically yours should be right on the top, by the way. But it might not be, so make sure to select the right one. Then just press enter or just touch on yes. Go ahead. Um, right now, your keyboard, you guys want it to be US or anything else, 
choose whatever makes sense to you press enter whenever you're done and you guys can add a secondary layout you can do that if you want or just skip it i'm gonna skip that uh that's good if you speak a second language it's great so right now it should ask you to what it should connect right now i'm gonna just connect to the main wi-fi network that i have put in your password for this you do have to use your keyboard so we're just going to tap on connect then we're going to put in our password once you put in your password we're going to next it's going to verify and then it's just going to connect up so right now that's connected just go to the bottom right inside you're going to see next tap on next if there's anything wrong with your wi-fi try another one hotspots do work their wi-fi networks after all just make sure you're not too far away from it Usually there are updates. I would be surprised if there's no updates, but make sure to run any updates that you guys encounter. And even after we're done the setup, I usually recommend running more updates if there are any left on the computer. So right now, just make sure your PC is on. Don't disconnect it. Don't move it. Uh, don't do anything to it, especially when you're running any updates, which is at this point in time. Right now, it does say your PC will restart before you continue. So just let it be and then come back to it later on. So we're just gonna see this. You should have seen a black screen, a welcome screen. Um, and then there we go. You guys finally got to this part where it's pretty much done with almost everything. Just tap on accept so we can keep going and you have no choice but to accept it. You guys can name your device. So just choose whichever name you like. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna choose tech and design. Well, just tech design, I guess. Next, don't worry if your computer is restarting, it's supposed to do that. Just let it do its thing. All right, so from here, you guys can go ahead and sign in. So on the bottom right hand side, just tap on sign in. And here we go. Just use your email to put in your email. If you don't have one, you guys can create one. There's that option to create one. Uh, you guys can look at signing options as well. So let me just show you those signing options that you guys have. There's a uh, face, fingerprint, pin, or secure key. That's also a thing. If you guys forgot your username, that's a different problem. Or we're just gonna go back, but yeah, you guys could do that as well. Once you're done, you just put in your email. You guys can just hit next. Then it's gonna ask you for your password. So I just want to show you if you guys click on create an account, because you guys don't have a Microsoft account. You don't have a Hotmail account or an Outlook account. Well, this is where you guys could create one. So you guys can get a new email address for sure. And then just keep creating one. But for now, we're going to go back. All right. So I think for the majority of you, instead of typing in your password and all that stuff, you guys most likely have a phone or a tablet. So I would choose signing options and I would choose this option. And then from here, just scan. So you guys could use a security key as, but for most of you, you guys can just scan. Okay. You guys can use your iPhone, iPad, Android device to scan this QR code that's going to give you. So just choose that. Then go into next. Now you guys don't have to typing a bunch of information because I know some passwords are very complicated for you guys. So this is way better, way faster to do. So just scan this using your phone and then you guys are going to be able to just sign into it. All right. So as you guys are signing in, if you guys already put your password, maybe you guys did it with your phone, whichever way you guys did it right now, you guys can choose to restore or just maybe you guys never had one before. So you wouldn't see a restore option. So you guys will see more options here, by the way. So we just click on those so you guys can see them. And I have several backups that I can choose from, or I can set up a new PC. So that's down here. So we're just gonna think that you guys are brand new. So we're gonna set up as a new PC. You don't, you don't really have to restore anything if you don't want to. And we're not, we're just gonna set it up new. So we're just gonna click on set up new. And we're gonna go ahead and see this. So you want to use your face to sign in faster, more securely. You can, so you guys can set it up or you guys can just skip that. We're gonna skip that for now. And here we go. You guys can create a pin on the bottom right hand side. You guys can choose a pin. So go ahead and put in something interesting to you guys. It could be something like 000 or something not that easy. Depends what you guys wanna do. But I highly suggest making something secure for you guys. If you don't really care, just put in something really simple so you guys can just log into it really quick. So right now, Microsoft, use your app location. Okay, I would choose yes. So you guys can use maps and stuff like that. You do want that location. Find mine, that's just in case this gets stolen or, you know, 
you lose it, which I doubt you're gonna lose it, just make sure it's on, accept. Right here, you guys can do required only or optional. So this means it's gonna send more information to Microsoft if you guys choose include optional or required only, it's gonna just keep the basis. I would choose optional as well, just to give them everything but you guys can choose whatever you guys want. It's really up to you how much information you guys want to go on and send out out there. Anyways, right now, um, you guys can also send out even more information about your typing. I'm gonna choose yes, but you don't have to. You can just choose no. I know a lot of you don't want to do that, but I wanna help out, so I always choose yes for everything, which means this as well, yes. So it's more tailored to me. For apps, advertising ID. Same deal. So if you choose no, the number of ads you see won't change, but they may be less relevant to use. All right, so your next screen should be to register and protect. So at this point in time, make sure your email's there, your first name, last name, then click on next. All right, so right here, you guys can check on everything or whichever things you guys want, information getting to you. I'm gonna click on everything, go into next, and then you're almost done with the setup, believe it or not. All right, so this part's all about customizing your experience. So for most of you, you will choose entertainment. Um, not many of you development, some of you school, others business, or even family. And I was gonna choose family as well, accept. You guys can always skip this, you guys can always change this as well. It doesn't affect you guys that much. You can use your phone from your PC. So it's pretty cool because you guys can respond to text messages and so on, make calls from your PC. If you guys have an Android, go ahead and scan this so you guys can sync it up. If you don't, skip. And by the way, if you guys don't skip that part, it's actually pretty neat what you guys can do. Um, you guys can back up your phone's photos and keep them safe on OneDrive.com, download. You guys can always skip this. So you don't have to if you already have something going on for your stuff. And right here, it says continue where you left off by importing to other browsers. Most of you will want that, especially if you have Android. And then we're just going to keep going. All right, so right here, this is giving you free, but it's only for one month. Some of you may have already Microsoft. So I'm going to decline. And I suggest taking it. If you really want it just for one month, go ahead. Other than that, I wouldn't. So I'm going to decline all of this stuff because I don't just want it for a month. I'll take a look at any subscription services or moving any of my software later on. All right, next up we have your device comes with free Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So you guys can go ahead and claim it or skip for now. If you're not interested, obviously skip it, but it's, it is pretty cool that it comes with that. Right now it's gonna check for Windows updates, which you should find some. All right, so from here, there should be an update. It's gonna be very rare if you guys don't have one. Just let it do its thing. This is stage one out of three. Yes, it's gonna restart. Don't unplug your PC. Let it do its thing. Then we'll come back to it afterwards. But don't touch none of this until it's all done. You guys will see the next screen later on. Right now it's only 12%. Wait for it to be all done. All right, so once the update is done, you guys should have seen a screen just maybe asking you for your pin, just maybe. Uh, depends if you guys kept it on or not or were there or the whole time. Most likely you weren't. So you start to put in your pin again and then you would see this screen right here. All we have to do is just wait. And yes, finally, we're almost done with the whole setup. All right, so we are officially all done. You guys can get to use your computer right now. So right here on this shot, you guys will see all the apps that you guys get. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are officially all done if you guys have any comments questions you guys can write down here in the comments area don't forget to subscribe and like thank you